Hello, thank you for clicking this video today. I really appreciate it. This is going to be a Cardano news video. We've got a lot of great news. Japan chooses Cardano. The Cardano Foundation makes a great partnership with wine. We're also going to be talking about how Charles Hoskinson is going to be announcing and releasing the Lace Wallet at our event. What is the Lace Wallet? What value does that bring to Cardano? We're going to be getting into all of that today. We're also going to be doing a Cardano native asset giveaway. What's your favorite token? Min token? World Mobile token? Atrium token? Bloom token? ADA, what is it? Let me know, and I'm going to be doing a Cardano native token giveaway, so comment your favorite tokens down below. Also, stay till the end of the video, because that's where you're going to get the word that you also have to comment to be entered into the giveaway. And if you guys do enjoy it, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. YouTube's been hard on us crypto guys lately. A lot of people are leaving. However, that's not your problem. Let's jump into the video. So the first story that I have for you today is a big announcement straight from the Cardano Foundation. They partnered with the Georgian National Wine Agency. And this partnership centers around a blockchain-based traceability solution to support the growth of Georgia's wine sector. I'm not a big wine guy myself. I don't really drink too much alcohol, but I've definitely heard of Georgian wine and how good it is. So excited to see this partnership. Let's jump into what are they actually doing? So obviously this is being spearheaded by the Cardano Foundation, and it's gonna support individual wineries by developing a shared scalable platform that is cost effective for winemakers and it increases the customer engagement. A pilot program will be expanded in the Balnisi region. I'm American, please excuse me. Serving both local and export markets, it will include up to 100,000 bottles of wine harvested during the autumn 2022 period. Subsequently, bottled during spring 2023, the bottles will carry a special label with a unique and secure QR code that allows consumers to check the authenticity of products and learn about their inventory. So they're actually gonna be using the Cardano blockchain to one, ensure traceability and authenticity, and also increase you know, some user engagement. One thing I will say, the Cardano community, they love to support uh, you know, companies that support the Cardano blockchain. So I can guarantee uh, that they're gonna sell some wine to the community, and there's gonna be some more engagement from us. But I love to see this. You know, It's good to see Cardano being used for something valuable in the world, and authenticity is something the blockchain can do best. So I'm very excited about this one. This one's really cool. So Atala Prism is something very unique that's being developed by IOG. It is decentralized identity. You know, Currently, in the centralized world, we all have our centralized identity. One thing that's unique about decentralized identity is that it's all on the blockchain. You essentially have a public and a private key that allows you to sign your identity onto something without giving them all of your information. For example, when you order pizza, you give them everything you know. You give them uh, you know, your name, your number, a bunch of information, and this sits on an unsecure server that is oftentimes hacked. You know, Credit card companies are hacked, your social security number's leaked all the time. Decentralized identity is a solution to that. You can essentially sign your identity and there can be checks saying, yep, this guy's the right age, this guy's the right you know, whatever, you know, we can move forward without storing all of this data. So I'm a big fan of decentralized identity. I don't know if it's actually gonna work out. I think the government likes their control. However, we've got some good news. So Japan has actually selected Atala Prism, IOG's decentralized identity, for the future digital infrastructure in development. So there were a couple other projects chosen, but this one was the big one. And I'm gonna scroll down and show you how this actually works. However, it's in Japanese. I can't read Japanese, unfortunately. And what this graph explains is actually the different actors, whether it be companies, government institutions, and it will show you how they're gonna store and verify data in a trusted web repository. And this is actually gonna be powered by Cardano, Atala Prism, and IPFS. So. Very cool. Uh, thank you for whoever got that going. Whatever Japanese man or woman did that, I appreciate you. Cardano is moving forward. It is awesome to see you know the governments take notice, uh, you know, on some of the utility that the Cardano blockchain has. So very exciting. 
On October 14th and 15th, the largest Cardano event ever is happening. It's an in-person event. We have many projects, over 45 projects in Cardano coming to the event. Men Swap, Sunday Swap, Singularity Net, Singularity DAO, DC Spark. So many people are coming. We're going to be getting speeches from people like Charles Hoskinson, Ben Gortzel, Sebastian, myself, and many more. We could really use your support. We're trying to grow and build this community. When you purchase your ticket, you get an NFT and one random NFT from our partner projects. One of those NFTs is actually a Claymate NFT that allows you to change your costume. You can go to rarebloom.io and purchase your tickets in ADA or USD. And there's actually discounted hotel rooms until the 24th of September. Thank you, guys. So I know I just did an ad for the Rare Bloom. Hope you guys come there. But there's also going to be a Cardano Summit. And this is going to be in, a, you know, they're going to have the remote locations everywhere around the world. However, I'm going to make my way out to Switzerland uh, and try to meet some of the European Cardano community. So I would love to see you there. But I have a bit of a call to action for you guys today. And this would really mean a lot to me. If you guys could come here, there's actually doing nominations. So you can come on here and nominate your most impactful stake pool operator. And it says SSPO. So I'm going to guess that means single stake pool operator. Uh, boo, you know, I hate that there's such a large focus on single SPOs when, you know, just because a multi pool operator, you know, the reason we have multiple pools is because we've onboarded tens of thousands of users into this ecosystem. And many of those delegates have gone to support single pools or mission driven pools and build up this ecosystem. And I, it's not humble to say that, but I have done my part in building up this ecosystem. So I don't really like that they're focusing just on impactful single stake pool operators because there's this, it's wrong to think that multi pool operators are bad. Some of them are, you know, Binance, with all their pools are bad, but we must remember that decentralization is determined not by pool number, it's determined by total stake. But enough rambling there. You can actually nominate, you know, blockchain for good, NFT projects, a DeFi platform, uh, you know, standards, CIPs, developers and tools, wallets, marketplaces. And this is the first time that I've seen them do anything like this. And, uh, you know, I've been at this for a while. So if you do think uh, that I've been good for this community and valuable, I would really appreciate it if you nominated me as the educational influencer. Uh, you know, I would love to be recognized by the CF considering I was removed as an ambassador, but I'm, I'm still an ambassador, just not formally, right? Um, and then also, this is the big one here, the speaker nomination. If you guys could nominate me to speak, uh, there are a few things that I would like to speak on. Of course, it'll probably be relative to what they desire. Um, however, there's a lot of stuff that I would like to speak on. So if you guys could nominate me here, uh, you know, as a speaker, um, I would really appreciate it. And, you know, go ahead and nominate me for, you know, DeFi because uh, we're building Atrium there. And I would love to speak about Atrium. However, I can also talk about my road, uh, you know, into this community and Rare Bloom and everything that I've built trying to bring in users and trying to make this blockchain more accessible. I mean, Atrium itself, that is the goal of it, is to make this more accessible for everything. And I would love to kind of tie this all into a story arc, you know, starting off with onboarding SPOs, becoming an SPO myself, building Rare Bloom, and then building Atrium, all about user accessibility and bringing people into this blockchain. So if you guys could nominate me on both of these i would really appreciate it uh you know it would truly be an honor but if you don't like me uh thanks for watching the video uh, you know increasing the engagement a little bit when we look at where we're at today we have regularly events all around the world for cardano for example the event in brazil uh, that was held not too long ago we have the rare bloom event that's coming up in october uh, which I'll be attending, and uh, I believe we're going to be launching Lace there, the, one of our wallets that uh, we've been working on and have a great vision for. So there you have it. Charles is actually going to be releasing Lace at our event. Uh, you know, it's, it's an honor for me personally, one, to have Charles coming to the event, speaking at the event, and also IOG releasing Lace. And Lace is a new light wallet that's coming to Cardano. And, you know, currently we have Eternal, which is a great light wallet, but it's good to see an, a competitor. Uh, it's an official wallet. And we're gonna put on screen some of the unique utility that it provides. You know, it's gonna have uh, a better way of displaying your NFTs. And I really look forward to using Lace and you know, seeing what it adds to the wallet game. And, uh, you know, thank you to Charles and IOG and everyone watching this video that is supporting this event. Um, it has been, a long, long road, uh, to be honest. We started working on this over a year ago, and uh, that's why you haven't seen too many videos out of me lately between that and Atrium and Bloom and uh, everything else that I've been working on. And I want to focus more on the channel, and I'm hoping that I can do that after Rare Bloom because I really miss it. 
Uh, it's what really brings me joy. It's a big core of my passion here. So I uh, really enjoyed making this video and I appreciate you guys all being here. If you made it till the end and you want to enter the giveaway, uh, comment one, the token that you want down below. Uh, also comment uh, lace at rare bloom. Uh, also join the discord server down below. Uh, go to the giveaway tab and react with the confetti symbol. You will have to fill out a captcha to make sure you're not a bot. Uh, but thank you guys. If you enjoyed it, like, comment down below. Consider nominating me. Uh, I'm going to keep grinding, keeping at this. I'm trying to uh, make Cardano more accessible for us all. And thank you for helping me in that mission. Ciao. Love you guys.